Welcome back to the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. In this final segment of today's program, we'll continue our conversation with Zoe Huang. We're going to ask her about her experiences as a radio program presenter, as well as somebody who came out of the Taiwan Music Education Program, and what are the recommendations that she will make today as an established vocalist to make our you know, education system here more comprehensive and more competitive. Zoe, mm -hmm. you've been doing the radio program for some like 15 years mm -hmm. now. Uh, you must have a huge listening, you know, uh, following. I hope because I don't see them. Well, certainly that's why <laughs> you know you've been keeping able to keep your program around for 15 keep years. My job yeah, for yes. 15 years. <laughs> uh, what are the, some of the things, the preparations mm -hmm. that you need to go through before each program? Oh, and also, mm -hmm. what kinds of reactions Reaction, mm -hmm. that you've been getting from your listening public? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's a good question, but it's a long answer. I'll, I'll make it short. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's like my program goes like two hours a day. That's that's a long. That's time. a long time. You cannot yes. you cannot play Beethoven symphony. I mean, no. they will, my boss will fire me. So I have to <laughs> speak something meaningful for the, for our listeners. And would uh, you try to interpret the music? Yeah, that's that's essential. Okay. You have to say uh, at least you have to say okay, what's the composer's background and the okay. music, the, the background. But I, I won't. I, I mean, I would not. Let's just say the 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 simple musical background because I people are not interested. I mean, okay. I, I don't mean that because it's too 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 academic. They yeah, can learn that at school. I yes. like to tell them something else. Like okay, doing uh, you know, uh, it's like okay, do, what what kind of, what what kind of event happened during that year? Maybe a war or some mm -hmm. novel came out. Some mm -hmm. some uh, if I uh, if I introduce Claude Debussy's music, I would say it's impressionist. But also you have to read Gustave Flaubert's Madame Bovary, or okay. I say Tchaikovsky music. You have to read Tolstoy. Uh, Anna Katerina and I will introduce the book. So in my program, I introduce classic books, okay. and um, I also uh, so it co yeah. covers a wider range than yeah, just music. Yeah, because I, I like I, when I was in Paris, I always listened to France 2. They have this uh, special radio and they uh, channel. They they cover all the culture news, not only classical music. I like to do that, not imitate because mm -hmm. Taiwan is very different. I think it's I have to do this according to. What the uh, what our audience needs. Mm -hmm. So um so I try to gather uh, all the culture news around the world, especially Japan because Japan is so close to us. Of course. And I find all, all kinds of very interesting things about Japan culturally and uh, how they live and how they and because they have very strong classical music. Uh, uh, how do you say fans and they it's it's you know they they are very advanced in that uh, regard. And mm -hmm. so I read uh, like several magazines and. I, and, and newspapers and European uh, like European newspapers as, as well, and I, I find something interesting I share with my audience, and okay. they loved it I think okay. because um, I only I um, yeah when I speak about that they would give me emails like oh Zoe what book did you talk about like uh, or uh, uh, what uh, what news did you talk about or what what country did you refer to. And I say, oh my goodness, they really listen mm -hmm. because of I course. speak very People fast, play. you know. <laughs> no. And I, and I, and uh, and I I just think that's good. So um, I have to do what Luan Yu says when you, when you want to give something to people, mm -hmm. you have to give something to people that you like. Mm -hmm. You cannot give something to people that you don't like. Mm -hmm. So I always have this concept in my head whenever okay. I prepare a program. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's very, uh, you know, the very inspiration that keeps you going for the past 15 because years. Because every day is dif it's different. Every you day. do it Monday through Friday, yeah, right? And Five every days day a week. I, I, yeah, I, I prepare 20, uh, almost 24 hours. If I go somewhere, like I talk to Raymond, I yeah. get inspiration. I'll speak immediately on my radio show. I say, oh, I, I such an experience and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and, and they like to know because uh, they don't, yeah. they don't hear this uh, no. uh, every day no. or with any yeah I just yeah I think that's that's my way of doing this yeah mm -hmm. and also Zoe that you graduated from the most you know music program in Taiwan and also you also study overseas both in the States and also in Europe what would be your recommendations mm -hmm. today you know as a practitioner mm -hmm. Uh, as an established musician, that you would recommend to make mm -hmm. Taiwan's music education, mm -hmm. whether it's at the primary level or mm -hmm. the secondary level mm -hmm. or at the college level, mm -hmm. uh, to make the 
you know, uh, education system mm -hmm. here, especially pertaining to music, mm -hmm. uh, more comprehensive and make our music talent you know, more competitive on the international really, stage. Really, you're asking a question to uh, a For culture the education minister, years, you know? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, from my personal view, I would, I would say um, the general public should support the art. Yes. Because Do you think that level has been raising in the last few years or has it stayed um, the same? It's very hard to say. It's like in a state like Obama, he spent, he has this budget on um, the national endowment for mm. the arts, so much yes. money. Yes. And, and some of the senators say, why are you giving this money when, uh, when we need money other for programs. other, mm. you know, in bank and everything? And some of the senators say, because artists are human beings as well. Mm -hmm. And the same time I read this news, the, uh, the, in New York, the Lincoln Center, the Performing Arts Center, they have a hall. It's called the Alice Tolley Concert Hall. We always, we always perform there. Alice Tolley Hall has 1,300 1, capacity. This is a okay. concert hall. And it's built 1969. It hasn't been uh, like uh, reconstructed, renovated. renovated. Okay. And this year they finished the, the acoustics. Do, oh, do you know okay. how much money they spent? I wrote this down. They spent one hundred fifty nine million dollars just US for acoustics. Dollars. US dollars for acoustics. It's Very the, the money the money is from a private foundation from Alice Tully. She is she was a philanthropist and yes. she was an opera singer. She gave all this money. So um and but now with uh, the, the, the the uh, with the uh, recession in the whole world now in mm -hmm. America. Yes. The, in those, the entrepreneurs, they cannot afford to put money in the art. Of course, government has to subsidize all this. Mm -hmm. That's why Obama had this, uh, this uh, project. Mm -hmm. In Taiwan, we, we, ha we don't have this history of entrepreneur, uh, uh, philanthropist who give money. That's why our government has to help. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think government's work is not to help. Government's work is to encourage yes. the uh, the entrepreneurs or these industrials, they make so much money. Incentives. Yeah, they mm -hmm. have to they have to support the arts. Mm -hmm. So uh, the education will get better mm -hmm. because education doesn't stand itself. It no. has to support it by things mm -hmm. around it. Mm -hmm. So I just encourage all the rich people in Taiwan. They think for the future for your children, your beautiful daughter or mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. they, they, they have to have a beautiful concert hall. They have uh, like library you sh or museum. They can have a, like I went to uh, many museum. I said, how come they don't, we cannot make a concert hall here? Mm -hmm. Because in Paris, even in Japan's department store, they have concert hall in yes, there. Yes. Everywhere. You have to let art everywhere. That's why, that's why education, education is not only a school, you know mm -hmm. that very well. Mm -hmm. So this is my only concern, you know, mm -hmm. for the rich people. Mm -hmm. yeah. I but encourage them. Yeah. yeah. What do you think that some of the things that, you know, ordinary people mm -hmm. like you and I can do mm -hmm. in our own surroundings mm -hmm. and context to make music more part of our life, mm -hmm. uh, not just a tool or mm -hmm. just a hobby or a pursuit mm -hmm. for our kids? Oh, first of all, listen to the radio. Okay. Yeah, because it's the cheapest, you don't have to pay anything <laughs> yeah I think uh, broadcasting is the most important thing I, I just I just learned a vocabulary it's called a promul pr promulgate it means broadcast yes and I look at the Webster dictionary it says uh, it means uh, to make things official yes. so I said my goodness classical promulgate. music yes. finally became official in Taiwan because we have radio station but we now we need TV mm -hmm. in Europe you can you have RT you can Turn mm -hmm. on, you can always have uh, uh, to see orchestra playing, opera singing, ballet dancing. Yes. That's why Parisian be the, the girls are so beautiful mm -hmm. because they have the best ballet. But we don't even have a ballet company, no. you know. Yeah, if you have a ballet company, we don't even need supermodel. You mm -hmm. know, you have people <laughs> walk very gracefully on the street, people exactly. speak very nicely to each other. Mm -hmm. That's what art is for to make people calm and mm -hmm. to make people happy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that. Next challenge for Taiwan mm -hmm. in terms of music ed education mm -hmm. is not uh, you know just happening in the classroom, no. but also in our daily lives, yes, in our daily yes. routines. Yes. Starting with listening to radio, <laughs> yes, uh, hopefully please. in the future that we can have uh, music programs on television. Yes, and and music in in the library, music in the museum, music in the community. Because when I was living in Europe, every 
community they have academy it's cool yes. and it's very cheap it's almost like it's almost like free you can go you yes. can take sculpture class you can take uh, music class and that what make that what brings people together mm -hmm. they don't they are not together to gossip they, no. they are together to to make beautiful things and make their life more bearable mm -hmm. because sometimes life is uh, sometimes some in uh, intolerable intolerable things happen like uh, very sad things very happy things you have to share things with other people and mm -hmm. art is the it's a platform. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a it's a channel. It's, it's a channel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 a channel for for people. Yeah, to, to exchange the emotions exactly. and yes, sentiments. Yes, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. And uh, before our program ends today, and Zoe, would you mind sharing with the audience watching mm -hmm. our program at mm -hmm. home, uh, if they're thinking of you know sending their children like myself, mm -hmm. you know, sending my daughter in the future mm -hmm. when she grows up to music education, mm -hmm. what are the things? What are some of the identifiable uh, aptitude? that we need to look for in our children and then prepare them you know, for music and other you know, uh, education in the future? Oh, I, yeah, uh, oh, it's a big question, but I, because I don't have children just myself. Just for your own but, experience. Yeah, but, but ima I imagine if I, if, if I had children, I, I would bring them to always to the park. Okay, and? To the nature, to the uh, library. Okay. And, and to listen to the music art and, and culture and, become part of their lives. And, and the yeah. most important thing is to teach them how to love other people. Yes. So I think join a children's choir or a dance class would be good. They have okay. to be with people. That would be a very good important first yeah, step. Yeah, because uh, it's not yeah. competition. Yeah. You know, you cannot. It's start. not forced. It's, it's, it's not too early your to school. Yeah, school yeah. is always competitive now. Yeah. You have to let them have a, uh, another another. How do you say another? Uh, Let them grow into it. Yes. Yeah, it's probably a little more yeah, natural. And, and you have to start very early. Yes. Yeah, I encourage them very, yeah. very early. Even three is not yeah. too late. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, My Zoe, pleasure, to Raymond. be on the program yes. and sharing with us, you know, your experiences and thoughts about music, about culture in general. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television. Thank you.